Varieties of Faith, The Forebears, by Brother Mikhail Karkuxor of the Imperial College. The Forebears, who have been longest in Tamriel and had the stronger relationship with the Second Empire, worship substantially the same pantheon as the Imperials and Bretons, whereas the more conservative crowns still revere the ancient Yokudan gods. The Eight of the Forebears, Akatosh, Dragon God of Time. Akatosh is the chief deity of the Eight Divines, the major religious cult of Cyrodiil and its provinces, and one of two deities found in every Tamrielic religion, the other is Lorcan. He is generally considered to be the first of the gods to form in the beginning place. After his establishment, other spirits found the process of being easier and the various pantheons of the world emerged. He embodies the qualities of endurance, invincibility, and everlasting legitimacy. Tava, bird god, Yokudan spirit of the air. Tava is most famous for leading the Yokudans to the Isle of Hearn after the destruction of their homeland. She has since become assimilated into the mythology of Kinnereth and is often worshipped by the forebears in that name. She is very popular in Hammerfell among sailors and her shrines can be found in most port cities. Julianos, god of wisdom and logic. Often associated with Yunal, the Nord's father of language and mathematics, Julianos is the god of literature, law, history and contradiction, and is thus the patron of magistrates and wizards. Dibella, goddess of beauty, popular god of the eight divines. She has nearly a dozen different cults, some devoted to women, some to artists and aesthetics, and others to erotic instruction. Tuwaka, tricky god, Yokudan god of souls. Tuwaka, before the creation of the world, was the god of nobody really cares. When Tall Papa undertook the creation of the walkabout, Tuwaka found a purpose. He became the caretaker of the far shores and continues to help red guards find their way into the afterlife. His cult is sometimes associated with Arche in the more cosmopolitan regions of Hammerfell, and he is often worshipped in that name by forebears. Zet, god of farms, Yokudan, god of agriculture, who renounced his father after the world was created, which is why Akatosh makes it so hard to grow food. Analogous to Zenithar, and sometimes worshipped in that name. Morwa, Teat god, Yokudan fertility goddess. Fundamental deity in the Yokudan pantheon, and the favorite of Tall Papa's wives, still worshipped in various areas of Hammerfell, including Stros Mackay. Morwa is always portrayed as four-armed, so that she can grab more husbands, analogous to Mara, and sometimes worshipped in that name by the forebears. Stendar, god of mercy. Stendar's sphere includes compassion, charity, justice, and righteous rule, and is the favorite god of Redguard gallants, knights. Additional deities with significant Redguard cults, Leki, Saint of the Spirit Sword, Divine Daughter of Tall Papa, Leki is the goddess of aberrant swordsmanship. The Natotambu of Yokuda warred to a standstill during the mythic era to decide who would lead the charge against the left-handed elves. Their swordmasters, though, were so skilled in the best-known cuts as to be matched evenly. Leki introduced the ephemeral feint. Afterwards, a victor emerged and the war with the Aldmer began. Hun Ding, the Makeway God, Yokudan spirit of perseverance over infidels. The Hunding has historically materialized whenever the Red Guards need to make way for their people. In Tamrielic history, this has only happened twice, in the first era during the Ragada invasion. Maluk, Horde King, an enemy god of the Ragada who led the goblins against the Red Guards during the first era, fled east when the army of the Hunding overtook his goblin hordes. Sep, the snake, Yokudan version of Lorcan. Sep is born when Tall Papa creates someone to help him regulate the spirit trade. Sep, though, is driven crazy by the hunger of Satakal, and he convinces some of the gods to help him make an easier alternative to the walkabout. This, of course, is the world as we know it, and the spirits who followed Sep become trapped here to live out their lives as mortals. Sep is punished by Tall Papa for his transgressions, but his hunger lives on as a void in the stars, a non-space that tries to upset mortal entry into the far shores.